triumph, joy, madness, death, battle, jealousy, rage. Uh, what more do you want uh, in a night of the opera? So good morning, good morning, good morning. You need to sort of stop pushing her down. It's the Lord, duh. Direction on the music, good, that was fabulous, keep going. The story of Saul is, of course, one of the most dramatic stories from the Old Testament. The vain, problematic King Saul, with his people terrorized, of course, by the giant Goliath for years. This unknown hero, David, kills Goliath and becomes part of the family of Saul, falls in love with his daughter and his son. Handel wrote this as an oratorio, so it was written not to be staged because he wasn't allowed to present Bible stories on the stage at that time. It gives the director an enormous freedom because we have to invent and fantasize, feel many elements of the story because they are not simply given to us. <laughs> my designer, Katrin Leotag, and my team decided very early on we wanted to create some sort of 18th century fantasy world, combined with my very physical style, because for me, opera is about what the person who is singing and performing can do with their body and their voice, and how that can be used to create everything. I don't really need much else. The reason why you're gonna move is because the joy is so great that you have to explode out into the space. Yep, here we go. The performers are demanded to do a lot. And I'm very lucky in the case of this piece that all my soloists, and I must say the spectacular Glyndebourne Chorus, um, have really risen to the challenge. <laughs> The chorus is around 40 singers. Any chorus enjoys singing big Handel choruses on stage. Who wouldn't? And I try very much to integrate them as much as possible into the drama of the scene. It's great music. It's great characters. There are scenes which are tender. There are scenes which are beautiful. There are scenes which are funny. There are scenes which are devastatingly sad. There are scenes which are grotesque. I think the audiences will have a roller coaster of emotions, which is what I think you should feel like when you've been to the opera.